Welcome to episode two of season two of the Age Woodchip Raised Bed um, project. So in our last episode, we kind of haven't had a compilation of starting season two with the Raised Bed project, the Wetlands project, and the garden vlog, I guess you could say. Kind of just all in one video. So we got a bunch of camphor leaves, leaves mostly on there in the last video. A bunch of uh, wood, you know, maybe not a whole lot of small particulate matter, you know, wood chips or whatever like that. But we didn't have a lot of stuff like that over there either. We probably need to get some hay that we have left over. We, you know, all kinds of stuff, oak leaves. Um, and we need to do nutrient drenches, which we have plenty of stuff to do that with. We need to do a, uh, a like a wood ash um, drench, you know, like we did with the other bed. But right now, what are we missing? We're missing some pine needles, right? Let's go rake some pine needles and just get a, like a 30 gallon bucket full of pine needles here if we can find enough on the ground to rake up got the trusty old uh, i guess it's a 30 gallon bucket i keep saying 30 gallon so we definitely need to get some more of the golden rods you know cut down before they freeze and we definitely need to get some uh of the elephant ears you know if we hit if we hit in the 20s all those elephant ear tops they're probably just going to turn black in the bush and just die we used a lot of elephant ear tops on the last raised bread bed last season. All right, we got a lot of uh, uh, pine needles and stuff out here to choose from. This is out here where all the citrus is. I had, uh, this is the seedling grapefruit. I ate one yesterday when it was like 40 degrees outside, and oh my God, it was it good. First bite was a little bitter. The more, you, the more I ate, the sweeter it got. Just wish they were just a little bit bigger. You know, they're like pomelos, like the red sweet pomelos. As far as well, not having a lot of bitterness and having a lot of sweetness and a lot of flavor. Really good. And they're crimson, so they're like really beautiful inside. Got my trusty rake here. So I hope that uh, you guys have noticed the audio quality hopefully has been improved a lot since the last season. I'm on a uh, Shure condenser lavalier microphone now. Sometimes I have to switch up to different mics, you know, for different parts of the same video, or I may just not feel like getting out the external microphones, and you might get the iPhone mic, or if it doesn't get a good connection, you know, like uh, the plug, the lightning connector, then it may revert to the internal mic. But hopefully most, like 90% of the stuff are more has gotten, you know, better audio quality. With this lavalier mic, the um, collars on some of my shirts do fit up closer to my neck and beard. So hopefully they're not rubbing against it too much and making a scratching noise. <laughs> we often talk about like the mycorrhizal fungi and stuff being beneficial. See that white webbing and all? That's, I'm assuming that's, um, a lot of that is fungi or fungi uh, roots and stuff that get in these these uh, leaves and under everything here. So we are picking up, up fungal spores every time we rake, every time we, almost every time we pick up wood, you know, because there are just so many types of mushrooms and funguses growing on all of this stuff. I know there are non-beneficial or maybe damaging fungi, but... Hopefully, um, we get as much um, beneficial fungi as possible doing this. Got a pine cone or something, pine cone there. That's got some kind of yellow fungus all over it. Some kind of roots there and some more of that, you know, like yellow fungus or slime mold or whatever that is. Some kind of fungi. All right, we've got a nice little pile of leaves, pine needles. Looks like a little bit of a maple leaves and a few little oak leaves mostly pine needles though here so that might just fill that little 30 gallon container 
and I guess the good news about this specific bed we're working on now is it's fairly small. You know, it kind of has some height on it, but not a lot of, you know, what would the term be, circumference. <laughs> you know, it's probably going to be six foot round maybe versus like the other one with the bed, which is way bigger, maybe 20 feet or so. Maybe more, maybe a few foot less. So, but I would say most likely there's no way that that's the only bed we're going to work on this season. Because if we worked hard for three or four days, we, we would have that pretty much ready to go. I don't really have the time to do it that fast. But, you know, we have months to work, so we don't have that much work to do on that one bed. We'll ju we just need to figure out, I guess, where we're going to put the third, fourth, fifth beds or whatever for the season. So, yep, about 10 minutes worth of work. I was able to drag the this uh, can out here and fill it up full of pine needles. Probably another four or five cans I could fill up in just this 30 foot section or so. And if I really wanted to dig deep all over the place, I could get, you know, several more. Let's go dump it. So this is one that'd be good to have a point of view or some kind of body cam rig. There we go. Just need to kind of shake it in. Get it everywhere we can. Guess over time, wind and rain and Animals and stuff will go in there. We got a lot of work to do though here. I guess to try to get everything in all the little corn, uh, not corners, all the little pockets, I should say, the little air pockets. All right, so I used a stick and I pushed it you know, into the pockets as much as I could. You know, just as this composts down and comes into smaller particles, you know, from the bacteria and fungi and little insects and stuff eating it down um, it'll just go down over time but I do worry that the hill is a little bit too high off the ground maybe for like low rooted like avocados and peaches with that said that doesn't mean I have to plant on the top of the hill I could go down here you know 8 10 12 inches above the ground on one of the sides or the fronts or the or the back or whatever and just plant it there 